this for you. All right, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over there. I do. It's clouds. <laughs> clouds? This is a storm, pal. Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Delivery. The boss is back on the bridge, switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Uh, weren't you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss. He swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay. I feel stupid for even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. Just... Wow. Yeah. I have trouble believing in myself. Oh, damn. Yeah. Listen up, delivery. Here. Change the plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me. Who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? <laughs> wow. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, it's the boss. to see you. Haven't met another American in 23 years. Name's Tom, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Tom. Is the ship yours? Can I book a ticket? Book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? 
San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on Earth. Uh, save for the traffic in L.A., of course. That was hell. Mm, look, man. Uh, remind me. What was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right! Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Merrill. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the applied force department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Очень приятно, Клин. Clint's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still, just look at that. Yeah, had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait, uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent. We had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. I don't really get that fancy stuff, though. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> to our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Got a show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Klim handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Klim's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. 
Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along, and the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything. And accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. <laughs> oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part, the map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll keep in of touch. Of course. Just leave. Just leave. Tell me, Tom. Why? Why what? Why did you not let me send my boys with him? They could cut the old coat cleanly and quietly. Oh, you know. I knew you could cut them quietly. Your boys fucked up for good when they let me get away. Howdy, Uncle Sam. You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge. Hi, American. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. You should go to the range. Let's see if it works now. And you're the You're the American. <laughs> you really We're made it great. Here, you see? <laughs> and you're expected at the range. Over there. Got it. Thanks. It's closed. 
Ugh, but why? It's just close. Ah, I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam. So I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. Here's your ammo. Good luck. Don't mind if I do. Try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a real Marine in action. <laughs> That's what I call real shooting. Simplify. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. This ah, one should not just feel amazing. familiar. Here's your prize. It's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic. We have sold. See you around. Did you get geared up? Weapons zeroed in and all that stuff? Yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. Come on, we've been here a hundred times already. You know, I'm still not convinced. Didn't they have a coup or something recently? They did. But the guy in charge now is okay in my book. I doubt that. He screws one man, he screws everyone else. Compare it to the second best offer. The bandits outside take it all and kill you. If they feel generous, you get to die quick. The cat, though. Once he takes his cut, we'll see the deal to the end. And make sure the final buyer treats us fairly. So, what do we do now? Now we just wait for the cat's man to come check our cargo. Good. 
I can do that. <laughs> hey, look, is that American? Here, what are you talking about? They're looking right at us. Are you sure? It looks like a regular schmo to me. I'm telling you, it's the American! Oh, what? We only got one. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Ah, oh, get off his case already. Who cares? Instead of wasting your energy being excited, save it for fishing. We have a long day ahead. So, he did let you pass after all? Not before wearing my patience thin like his black soul. Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? I heard you saw the captain. We're still How is he? Don't answer. But yes, I know There's it's definitely some missing. Any if suspects? Him again, tell him. Yeah, tell him there's this clown, Babyface. He took off as soon as we came to check on him and locked himself up in his cabin. So, you don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business shit. <sighs> Damn, I still can't believe we got one more American here. Uh, sorry, none of us really expected to see any American save for Tom. So, how's it going? Any progress? No dice. The fucker's got a good lock on this door. No matter. We'll get him soon enough. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I guess I'll stay and watch then. Get some popcorn. It's gonna get really exciting when we open this fucking lock. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box, like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended. It's got pure spirit inside. Also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to start, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. Clear, Tom. Good. I forgot to tell you. All my people know you're a guest now. There's lots of random characters roaming the area, though. So, if anyone is hostile toward you, you're afraid to choose the back of your deck. Thanks, Tom. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> 